Hello community, let's talk about trees. So imagine we are gonna build a tree. This tree is nice. Well, every tree starts with roots. Let's find a the node. Then here we will say the parent node. And of course we want to have some children. Say this, and immediately we get an error. Okay. And this error indicates essentially that um, types cannot be in the cursor. Right? So, so we need to do something. Right? So, we have some options here. Right? So, we can either make a box, since there's already a variable of work to do over the type, let's make a type. Let's say type node, at least in this case, like a box node. Then maybe now I have a node or box. So this works, right? But now we have the box as a thing, so it's also not, not that nice. And then we have the other option is to do something to open RC yourself. Which also works, but now suddenly we need to Three things, and uh, the drawback of this RC web cell is that um, every time we want now to access a node, right, we have to do like borrow, and with this another method is called borrow mute. And the thing that this thing does essentially moves the the, the borrow checker because borrow checker represents the, the the domain of the of the runtime, which is a nice intermediate solution. But since in the previous stuff, as we were talking about mutable pointers, so why not something with mutable pointers? Right? So here, now we define it as a mutable pointer. And let's start building a very, very simple tree, just to show the concept of how to do this essentially with mutable pointers. Um, just to make it, to make it really clear, let's, let's Substitute so node with mutable point node, a little bit more explicit. And let's start building the tree. So, what we would like to do is again tree, this tree default, for example. Um, because, in a sense, we could have like an empty tree. So, let's make an option out of this, which in this case is the uh, default. Well, this works. But now we want to add a node, right? Of course, let's add the naming. So let's do like tree. As a tree, let's do add node, for example. Uh, let, let's, let's work with some data. Let's do it like this. So we can do the input. And then let's define a function with reference. So it takes a mutable cell and we need some uh, new size, right? Some value, right? Some value is like new size. It's the easiest to work with. But now, what do we do? We need to make this node, right? To add it to the tree. So for the tree check, do we already have a root or don't we have a root? That's important. So let's do if so root is self root. We build this very simple tree, so we're only one left tree, so f children and else none. And we will just create the root. What we have to do anyway is create the node itself, right? And as we know, how do we get a mutable pointer to a new node? So we need to define some data on the thing, right? Uh, children, of course, we have some data. In this case, it's new size. So how do we create a node, a mutable pointer node? If that node is box new, then we have a new node. 
let's also make this and it is also default actually so now we can say okay make a new method but so the parent here is also optional for example so we plus the parent but we also want to have like not a default but also a new so let's implement it with a new uh, where we only set the parent only set the data right so the rest is just default we only set the data So now we have created a node, we have add node function. So we do that now, let's say new with the data with the D. And we need to have the useful pointer, so that means box uh, to ball. And now we have the useful pointer to node. And now we can set this either to add to children, right? Nodes, so this should be like useful nodes. So now on packet match, we can now do like a key reference to root. We have the children push it, push, and say this new node. Okay. This thing needs. Forgetting this. So now this children exactly. Is not this possible? No. Exactly. Now this needs an unsafe block. And because what we know is like creating it and moving it is not a problem, but dereferencing and doing something with it requires some save. So we did this, and otherwise, we need to create the root itself. Okay. And essentially, the root itself is just an empty node, which in this case, that this node will become the root, essentially, right? So we can say self of the root equals the node we just created. Now we created an add node. So now we can add nodes to this simple tree, which is only one level deep. So let's do it. Add node five needs to be mutable. Let's put it like this, yeah. Add node five. Six. Let's say six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so now we got like nine nodes. And maybe if we're lucky, we can do that with three. Three doesn't become a debug, so let's add it. Probably we also need we also need a debug on this one. So let's let's run the thing. And now we get a root with some, let's say, node, you know, which uh, doesn't really debug anything. So let's implement some debug on node. Well, this really doesn't really cover it. So, so let's not implement go to deep. Right? So essentially imagine like this is a, this is a point that we can of course dereference where we can get the node and the children and we can actually iterate over the children and print them out but that's not really why we're here the whole thing now is essentially okay so now we created this unsafe tree with these uh, nodes with which we're creating here in the in, in the app so this 
the moment we do this into raw, now we are responsible, right, for reading the memory, you know, with what was known as point. Right? So, because this is essentially like a mutable point into a note, into the type of a node. Right? So, how do we do this, right? So, how do we make sure we're not like essentially meeting memory? Right? So, for this, we need to implement log on the type. And this drop is, is called whenever essentially the, this tree object would go out of scope. And what, what does this give us? This gives us like a mutable reference to self, right? And this mutable reference to self, we can use essentially to now walk our tree to drop, and to essentially make sure that every node essentially is, is free. Now we only have a one level B3, so that, that's very simple. Huh? So again, we can do this if at some root equals self root and else now well if we don't have a root we have nothing to see right since we are done um, since we're done we need to be lock with the root and if we do have a root now we need to walk the children first right children first first make sure and retreat and then when we're done with this uh, uh, we so let let's do this so for now again we need to do a lot of unsafe thing and because we need to re-reference but let, let's see the Abraham one so for uh, child in root dot children but this is not a point so we need to dereference this point. And for each child, right, we need to do something. So if we save this now, we see that unsafe, right? So this is now it's an unsafe block. It's for dereferencing memory, right? Which is making it really weak. Let's say unsafe. And now it's complaining that okay, now we're not moving it then, but we need the reference. Right? So now here we have a reference to child. And what is a child? Again, a mutable node. So now we are able to free this, right? And how do we do this? So let's make the node boxed again. So we can now do for a box from raw. And then we get the child. Now, let's open this case like this. So again, unsafe action, and it's now we're actually again accessing memory, right? To get it into the box again. So now we get unsafe. And now we get the node, right? And now it's again essentially in, in the bus domain. Now we can freely drop the node. Make sure essentially that the memory is free, free, freed up. Now, and after the last thing, we actually do the same for the root. The same pattern for the root. Essentially, we can say change the node to root, right? And then this is uh, self root, which does not have to be de referenced. Okay. Exactly. So this was free root. And else, we don't need to do anything, right? So we can remove this but it's more for demonstration purposes. So now we've got a, essentially like a tree implementation where uh, when the tree gets dropped, which happens at the end of the scope as well, uh, we are running. So, uh, so let's see, let's, let's print if uh, everything actually gets dropped. Let's let's uh, my child. Let's go root. Okay. So this one. And exactly. So we added in a test. 
three. One, two, three, four, five. And how many how many isotope drops? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, so this was a very simple tree, right? But only one level deep, which creates the, the root when adding on it, and then you know moving on to it. But it demonstrates essentially how to make like more complex trees like binary trees or binary decomposition or whatever whatever you'd like to build in essentially unsafe code. Um, I hope you, you enjoyed this and uh, can apply these principles to bigger projects. Okay, please like and subscribe and let me know what kind of topics you would like to see. Thank you for watching.